Hey guys, welcome back to Life with 18 Cats. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we drop a little kitty video. And give us a thumbs up if you like what you see because it helps our channel grow and reach new viewers. That being said, let's get into the video. As you can see, Princess is playing with one of the toys that we unboxed this morning. Yes, she is. She's loving it. But the real reason is after all those toys and all the treats... We got Doodlebug. Hi, Doodos. Hi, Pumpkin. We have some very, very tuckered out and sleepy kitties. Everybody is literally just snoozing. Just out cold. <laughs> oh, look at everybody is so tired. They had so much fun this morning with their toys and with their treats that they're all just just laying here just being lazy kitties now, huh? Well, except for Gira. Gira and Doodlebug are, and, pa and Princess are pretty much the only ones that are awake right now. Hi, Gira. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Look at you being such a little stud muffin. You're so cute, baby boy. Look how handsome you are. Look at that hand. Let's get a good shot of that handsome boy face. Look at that handsome boy face. You're so handsome, honey. Yes, you are. You're so handsome. And my little hazel butt, she's so seepy. Well, hello. <laughs> hello, Hazel. Hello, Doodlebug. Hello, Little Doodle. Look at them. So sleepy. They're so tuckered out. They're so tired. Just tired babies. And Chewie is trying so hard to sleep and Silva will not stop grooming him. <laughs> Silva, are you being such a good girl? Are you being nice? Are you being so nice to Chewie? Chewie's like, please let me sleep. <laughs> Mittens, are you guys so tired from this morning? You guys played so hard, didn't you? Yes, you did. Hello, princess. Pretty pretties. Where's the pretty pretties? She didn't even meow for me. She's so tired. She's tired, too. I think she's looking for a place to just take a nap right now. Hi, pretty pretties. There's a meow. There's a meow from that pretty girl. Yeah, just tired babies. They're all so sleepy. Look at them. Just tired, laying around. Yes, hello, gear boy. Say hi again. Hello, girl. Hello, handsome boy. And the other thing I wanted to do this video on is, um, I know a lot of you guys have said, you know, said things about um, the, the Christmas decorations aren't going to stay up or whatever. I wanted to show you, because I realized I didn't explain this in the last video, but at least not very well. The reason why I'm doing this in little bits at a time and I'm doing it so early is, as you can see, there's a Christmas tree right here. This Christmas tree, I just, I love the Christmas tree. I just love the pink and I just, I didn't want to take it down last year, so I never did. So because it's become part of like basically the house to the cats, they're so used to seeing it there. They're so used to it being there. They don't ever mess with it. They did it first, but now that they're so used to it, they don't mess with it. So basically the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm doing this little bitty bits here and there, just starting now, is because if I do these little bitty bits and it's just a little bit at a time, it doesn't get overwhelming for them, it's not overstimulating to them, and they see it as just part of the house, because so far, so far nobody has messed with any of this, believe it or not, nobody has messed with any of this. Um, they've left it alone, and so that's kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing, and I'm doing it the way I am, is because as long as I do it just a little change at a time, they don't notice it as much, and therefore they don't mess with it as much. If that makes sense to everybody. Like I said, like with that tree, they don't mess with the tree anymore because they just see it as part of the house. It's just a normal thing that they ha they know is here. And so therefore they have left it alone. They've forgotten about it. And I've noticed that with my cats, I don't know if it's the same for all of you guys, but with my cats, if they have something around long enough, even toys, after a while, they just don't care about it anymore. No matter how fun it was to begin with, they just don't care. So just so you guys understand that better, why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. And I don't know, it might work for you guys too with your Christmas decorations. This is why I try to do my Christmas decorations a little at a time over the course of like, you know, a month or so rather than all at once right after Thanksgiving. Because if I were to put everything up all at once, they would just be overwhelmed and overstimulated with all these shiny, cool things that all of a sudden just popped up and they would just destroy everything. So yeah, so that's why I'm doing things the way I'm doing them. That's why I'm slowly putting decorations up just a little at a time, and that's why I started so early. So hopefully that helps you guys in your homes and gives a better understanding as to why I'm doing what I'm doing and why they're not messing with anything because 
they just I'm just not over I'm not overwhelming them with a bunch of stuff all at once so yeah so that's uh that's all I wanted to say and I wanted to show you guys the sleepy little kitties after their fun little morning hi Gira you're just so handsome hello mittens mittens can you pay attention hello honey hello mittens hello sweet boy yes you're a sweet boy love you so yeah so hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day thank you guys so much for being here with us and um yeah that's about it we will see you next time bye